KT Squire, welcome back. Today, we're going to be continuing on, I think we're still on episode two. I'm not 100% sure. We're about to be on the very end of episode two, or going into episode three. Last episode, we ended up getting out, escaping, and finding some food that'll help us survive. So let's see where it takes us. If you guys have been following along with the series, let me know how you guys like it down in the comments below. Let's get right into the video. These motherfuckers are stalking us. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lot. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. What? what? Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's she at? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I remember when this should happen. If I'm oh, thinking it, you're I'll safe. You. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. What the fuck? So was she good all along? Oh, wow. Well, shit, that was the end of episode two, literally, like, two seconds after. I, I could have just kept going with the last video. Well, fuck it, we'll just keep it in this one. Let's just skip to the end and look at all of them together. 43% chose to chop off his leg. 60% had Danny Shooter. 49% killed Larry. 61% killed, didn't kill both brothers. And 51 stole the food. Well, we all need the food. So, I feel like we made the right decisions for most of them. Some, a little bit less, but, you know, hindsight 2020. Let's get into episode three then, shall we? Now we're on episode three. Let's see what the story has to take us. I said take us, tell us. I can't speak, forgive me. This man running, where are we? Long road ahead, episode three. Looks like this is our lucky day. Maybe. Uh, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, Kenny still you've been hurt, talking about see. it, but you made up your mind yet? Mm. We should go. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. you damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Bet. 
We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Fallen concrete. Maybe that's the ground. What am I looking at the ground huh. for? I can't push it. Mm. Oh. Should not go nowhere. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Nah, man. Killed her dad. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. And that shit was rough. for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. Uh, I think she understands. I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a, it scary, was a situation. scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. <laughs> Shit! Good thing that shit ain't make no sound. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could've... Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Ah! Somebody help me! I'm tired of helping people. What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Well, she's been now. Nope. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. You can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I'm not shooting. That's just that's just smart decision, I think. She already bit. She already bit. So it's like, can I can I shoot the walker? Can I shoot the walker low key. Low key, I wanted to hit R2 just to shoot the shit. But I'm gonna just leave her. That's a smart decision. She was dead anyways. Let's go. She'll keep this. You gotta be strategic in these streets. I 
I'm gonna need her to stop screaming in my damn ear. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Big fucking bad, my Don't man. forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Bad. Hey, Lutz. We need all the pills we can take. I'm collecting all the shit. I'm collecting all this shit. Can I collect anything? She's gone. There's not much time now. But take, 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 take. take. Oh, gotta be quick. Man, I'm out here killing this shit. 16 items? You got a lot. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Up and over. Tussle. Oh, oh, shit! X! I ain't dying in this episode. Fuck that. We got some goodies. And you wearing your sweater, staying cold. I said staying cold, staying warm. I told you my mouth I don't work. some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, hey nice, Clem. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Jesus Christ, Kenny. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. Big the up. winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. He's piling into an RV with you two after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We, we do whatever is best for the kids. kids. Doesn't that make sense? Support. It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. 
And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lovey. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know We it. deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens Fuck. to us is another Why is he making valid points? Holy crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? She was dead anyway. Oh God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She needs to stop throwing a little temper tantrums. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Fuck. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks, Carla. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound she up just, the way she, she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. But say less. Oh, uh, what's she looking back at me for? First things first, we gotta check on Clem. You already know, y'all. Come on. Clem, where you at? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Clement, Clement, where's, where the fuck, where's Clem? Where is she? I want to speak to her. Well, we'll go talk to them real quick, because I can't find Clem. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. We gotta I'm have sorry. guns. It's protection. How are you, Lee? Shit. Uh. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. She's got a point. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. Yep. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you All later. Alright, Kenny. Let's go up here and talk to Carly. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. 
I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about me? What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably, You're probably right. right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll, I'll let people know. know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Thank you, Carla. See, I knew she had. Thank me later. I knew she liked the kid. Yeah. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are yeah. going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Better. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. There's Clem! Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Hmm. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Thanks, Clem. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. Yeah. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Time to tell them. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. <laughs> I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh, I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. And you're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. Thanks, Kenny. Do I, do I tell Katja? 
Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? No. I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lummy back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. It's only gonna get worse. But we gotta stick together, y'all. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Mm. I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I, do I understand for you? that? Haven't you? But he would have no. turned. We would have been fucked. Yes. You saw how big that nigga was? I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. Jesus. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. Jesus. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little I'll bit. look around. Thank you. If you don't I'll find do something anything, nice. I'm just going to assume it's you. That's cool. A mystery. Oh! Jesus, Doug. Jesus, Doug. God damn it. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. Of you clearly. You hear all of that. You need to hear all of that. What did I just say? You're a detective, and I could be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Ah, uh, fine. You're Robin. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. Uh, what do I do? Dude, I, I don't know. This is your idea. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. This nigga duck, man. I swear he's a clown. All right, y'all. We're going to end the video here. It's been going on for like 30 minutes. I didn't realize how long it's been going on for. But thank y'all for supporting the series. I appreciate every last one of you. Share the video. Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know how I'm doing. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. Them zannies on earth Yeah, I woke up right there on Mars Pull on my car and go skirt Flex on that bitch, I like swerve Flex on that bitch, do it hurt Flex on that bitch, do it hurt